Hi guys, welcome back. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today we'll be doing an easy edge cut card. For this, you will need a post-it note, a pair of scissors, acrylic paint, stamp sets, baker's twine, and exacto knife. Now, the last two products are optional. If you want to do the exact same way which I do in this video, you can definitely use them or you can even leave them out. So without further ado, let's get started. I'm starting off with the largest stamp and this card is going to be a single layer card that means there are not going to be any other layers and I'm stamping on the rightmost edge of the card. This is what you will see when you fold the card. This is going to be on the top and I'm going to start off with the largest images and stamp them first and then go with the smaller images. Try to stamp the entire image on the greeting card itself. Don't leave any of those hanging at the edge uh, because that's when the edge cut technique works. So I have created this kind of mask using post-it note. So what I did is stamp the same image on the post-it note and cut around it. And I have placed it on those flowers as you can see. Then I went ahead with the smaller leaves and flowers. It looks as if these flowers and leaves they are peeking from behind those larger flowers. So it looks as if you know you have drawn around it and nothing is overlapping. You can definitely reuse these post-it notes anytime you want. I I usually keep them and store them in a box so that I can always reuse them later on with other projects whenever I use the same stamp set. Once all the images are stamped, I'm going with acrylic paint and painting all those flowers. Here I'm using a red, yellow and green and you can even use watercolor pencils but the thing is it looks more washed out like it won't be as vibrant as acrylic paints. I want this to pop. So that's the reason I used acrylic paint but you can definitely use watercolor pencils or markers whatever you have. Next comes the edge cut technique. So all the white space which you see on the right of the stamped images is going to go. So just cut along the edge of those stamped images and the right side of the card will actually be the shape of the flowers and the leaves or whatever images which you have stamped. So the last step will be to tie a baker's twine. Here I'm using a grey coloured baker's twine and going around the card twice and tying a small bow. The grey colour actually tones down a little, tones down the whole pops of colour a little and brings the whole card together. I absolutely enjoyed making this video you guys. I really hope you give this a try if you are into card making and you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. I really do appreciate it and subscribe if you haven't already. Take care and have a wonderful day.